Well, a very good evening from Phuket, and tonight we're going to be going over Patong. But first, I've just stopped at a restaurant because I'm starving and I want to have a little bit of food. And this particular restaurant in Katu, I've been wanting to film for some time. Tonight's a perfect excuse because it's actually on the way to Patong. So I'm going to be making two videos, one which will be released later, but first is the Patong one. Okay, well, we've just arrived down here at Patong after that very nice meal at the Big Chicken restaurant. If you want to go and check that video out, it should be available later this week. So we're here down in Patong, as I said we would on the last video that I did. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. We're going to first have a look along Beach Road and I'm going to start not right at the beginning but a little ways down because right at the beginning there's not much happening but as you start to work your way down Beach Road there's more happening and we're going to take a look at what's open then we will work our way onto Bangla Road because just lately in the media they're reporting that a lot of bars are now starting to defy the orders as regards opening and are actually opening up now some of these bars are opening under the guise of restaurants as i mentioned in my last video my feelings on businesses that have been closed for a long time so i've made that clear i'm not here to judge people that is not the intention of this video basically i'm just having a look at what's going on in patong to see with myself i've seen various reports on both youtube and in the general media social media showing various things that are going on here and as I say it's not for me to judge I just want to have a wander around see what's happening see what the nightlife position is we're going to take a look and see for ourselves now I might not be doing a lot of commentary as we're walking down Bangla Road and the reason for that is obviously if these entertainment places are open and they've got loud music on then I'm gonna to have to blank the music out but I don't know they may not have blasting music on there may not be anywhere open I'm not sure what we're gonna find so let's now first take a look down Beach Road I'm gonna to have to pop my mask back on because as I mentioned the other day walking around Patong without a mask on at the present moment is not the greatest of ideas so I'm gonna take it off where I can but when I'm just walking about generally I'm gonna keep my mask on because as I mentioned there are police around and of course you are leaving yourself open to a fine personally i don't want to have to be paying any fines especially right at this particular time when money's not so easy to find and really it's not an issue for me to wear the mask if people don't want to wear them that's up to them they have to take the risks as i mentioned before but we're going to walk down we're basically walking away from bangla road just at the minute and we're going to turn around and come back down the other side because there is a little bit of life in this area at night time that I've seen I've just come down at the very top work my way down till I've found places that are open and then we're gonna walk down Bangla Road and see what's happening down there and I also want to take a trip down Nanai Road now for people that don't know Nanai Road this is the road that's furthest away from the beach and it's basically where you will find a lot of expats that are staying there's a lot of hotels guest houses bed and breakfasts bars restaurants etc etc down there so we're going to take a look down there and see how lively that area is because as i mentioned the expat community it, there are some people down there and there is a little bit of life i'll be honest with you i've just drove down there on the way into patong because we've got to come past that area and there is a little bit of life down there so it's worth going and having a a look. not everywhere is open but there are places open there is some life so I can already see across the road there that there is some restaurants open along here what time is it Nat? so it's 20 past 8 in the evening and it is a Wednesday evening not many people along the beach line I'll be honest with you not this evening anyway the new place that I covered the other day on the video actually the restaurant that I showed on that video wasn't open in the daytime but in the evening you can see across the road it is open they have got customers we're going to cross the road just down here and then walk back but it looks a nice place especially when it's lit up in the evening a few people have commented saying it's going to be a hotel not condominiums because i wasn't sure we're now going to walk 
back down the other way. So I can see there's a few people wandering around, not loads, but there's a few, which is nice to see. It's nice to see that there are some people here and there is a bit of life in Patong. But unfortunately, most of the life is here where we are now, situated around this area, Bangla Road and Nanai, as I mentioned. I was talking to my very good friend, Pete, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before regarding the areas known as soy het which is the mushroom soy where a lot of bars are situated he was telling me that's almost derelict now i haven't been down and seen it myself but that's what he was saying and i also asked him about otop and he mentioned that otop sorry cab that he mentioned that otop good evening i'm very well thank you he mentioned that O-Top is closed, and that's not open. Nice to see actually people here enjoying themselves. We cannot carry on the way the situation has been for an indefinite period of time. And hopefully some of these businesses are gonna be able to restart and get going again and we're going to see more and more people slowly coming back over over the next few months i know it's not easy at the moment with the restrictions hopefully those restrictions are going to ease as time goes by all eyes at the moment are of course looking to october because that is when it was announced that thailand was going to open up that was will be the 120 day mark but whether that's going to happen i'm not sure because already in the media we're seeing a change of stance as regards bangkok they're saying they're not going to open bangkok until they're good and ready and i understand what they're saying but we really need some of the restrictions removing now to make it easier for not only international travelers but also domestic travelers So as you can clearly see, there is some life here in Patong. It's not completely dead. It's starting to come back slowly. A little bit better than I was expecting. I'm not quite sure what I was expecting this evening was talking to Pete he said it's comes in fits and starts sometimes there's a bit more life than others some nights are better than other nights but certainly it is better than the last time I came uh, two three months ago when there was virtually nothing at all opened and it was a very very sad picture So we're now making our way down towards Bangla Road. See what the position is on there. As I mentioned, I may do some commentary, I may not. It just depends on if there's music playing because I, I need to blank that out. Officially, bars are not allowed to open and restaurants cannot sell any alcohol. That is the official position. That hasn't changed and we're hoping to see some changes towards the end of October as regarding that position for at least restaurants to be able to sell alcohol if not the bars to be open honestly I don't think they're gonna allow bars to open just yet I think it's gonna be a little while longer as regards that situation uh, somebody waving there sorry cab but hopefully we're going to see at least restaurants being able to sell alcohol which will make it more appealing for people that are coming over here to be able to buy an alcoholic drink with their meal bb gun 
Okay, so a few places opening. Now, shops. Definitely, definitely more life than there has been over the last few months. And it's nice to see Pizzeria opening up there. Street vendors. Now, we are seeing a lot of street vendors out and about for obvious reasons. A lot of people are turning to selling food as an alternative way to boost their income because at the moment a lot of jobs not available. Sorry, Cap? Cap? See the tuk tuk still about? It's actually nice to see them because they did disappear for a while. I've expressed my opinions regarding taxes before. At the end of the day, you ask the price before you get on, and then you know the price. If you don't want to pay, just don't use them. It's that simple. So we're almost at Bangla Road. Now, the other day when I came over in the afternoon, there was actually a police presence at the end of Bangla Road. So it's quite surprising that I've seen reports that the entertainment or some entertainment places are actually open along there because they've got a police presence in the daytime. I would have thought they would have had a police presence in the evening, but maybe they don't. We're going to find out when we go on to Bangla Road, which we'll soon see. A few people in there looking very busy. Actually, one of the busiest restaurants I've seen for a long while. Okay, so Bangla Road, here we go. Let's take a look. Now, the police officers the other day were sitting under this tent, marquee, whatever you want to call it, pop-up thing, they were sitting there, but uh, I don't see any this evening, there's a kebab place open.
Okay, well, you can see for yourselves there are not many places open down this particular road. Now, whether they've been tipped off that I was coming tonight and they've all shut the bars, I don't know. I haven't seen one bar open along Bangla Road at all. Now, I'm not saying that they, they, don't, they don't open, I'm not saying they do, but certainly now, on this camera, you're not seeing anything open. I don't know what else to say. I can't see anywhere open. Even though it's been reported that bars here are open, maybe because of the reports, the police have been down and made sure that they are all staying closed. I can't answer that. But tonight, I've not seen anything open down here. There's actually more along Beach Road open than Bangla Road. There are one or two little bits and pieces open along Bangla Road, but certainly no bars. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make my way back down to back Bangla Road the other way because of where we've parked the motorbike. Once we get back to the motorbike, we're gonna make our way up to Nanai Road and I'm gonna get Nat to drive the scooter very, very slowly because it is quite a long road and I certainly can't walk all the way down it. It would take too long and the video would be too long. So I'm gonna get Nat to drive very, very slowly along Nanai Road and we can take a look at what's open there. So we're just passing the area known as O'Top. As you can see, nothing open, no sign of life around here. So we're now on Nanai Road, just near the start. We're gonna make our way down here, see exactly what's open. Just this bit here, there isn't that much open to be fair, just at the start. A few places to rent a motorbike. If you're stuck for renting a motorbike, Nanai Road, there's a few open already I've seen. And that they're trying to dodge the drains that they've got in the middle of the road. Great idea this is. One of the many things that you will see on the roads here in Thailand. Some really, really silly ideas. Putting drains right back bang in the middle.
Italian, that's open. I've noticed there's actually a few places closed since we came down here, it was a lot earlier. It looks like places are closing up quite early because there's less open than there was when we first came down on our way down to the beach. Barbecue there, all you can eat, $2.99, but I think they stopped doing that at the moment at Don's Barbecue. But certainly places look like they're closing early. Restaurant open there, tattoo shop. Without a doubt, there's less open than there was two hours ago. Room for rent, restaurant, that's open, 7-Eleven. Restaurant, and another Italian restaurant, Pizzeria. That was actually quite full when we came past. Earlier on in the evening. Well, I'm quite disappointed because just two hours ago, there was quite a lot of life down here. Okay, well, as you've seen, not much life down Nanai Road now. Two hours ago, there was actually a lot more open than what we've just seen. Clearly, places are closing up early. Quite unbelievable, really, for Patong. You've walked down Bangla Road with me and you've saw what's open. Virtually nothing. A few small stalls selling hats and bits and pieces, a few food places, and that's about it really. All the entertainment venues, bars, etc. are all closed this evening. Now maybe they heard I was coming over to Patong tonight and they've all closed up because of that, but I highly doubt it. Patong still very quiet. We did see a little bit of life along Beach Road, which I have to say was really nice to see. Some restaurants open there and actually a few quite busy so slowly things are improving but I do emphasize the word slowly well I hope you've enjoyed this evening's video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time you take care and I'll catch you on the next one